Two things that are politically incorrect that we've just talked about in the last half hour or so. First of all, we had a comment about a guy who ha- who's pretending to be blind, and I said, "Is the term lazy eye still used, or is that in- yeah, that was in the that was printed in the news story along with the, the you know the Latin name for that condition?" And B was saying that his teacher, when he was in middle school, called a student by an impolitic name because he had a problem with his eye. And I think each one of us thought of a different impolitic name. See, my... <laughs> yeah. my uh, that was revealed once the microphone was turned off. off. I'll just say, I don't know if this is wrong. I, a teacher of mine used to say a wood eye, which I never heard of before, like a wooden eye. And he called it a wood eye. But huh. it was only in a joke. He had an in a long form joke about a, a, guy, a kid with a wooden eye. And he said... Never the, heard that term. And, and, term was wood eye. and then Biggie's term, I never heard. What was her term? He called it a walrus eye. See, I never heard that either. <laughs> he said to him, we're in gym class. He's like, Gibson! Who had a lazy eye? Yeah. Quit standing me with your weird walrus eye. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Gibson. Now that's bullying. Now that is. That's really And ever wrong. since, and I, that's like one of those childhood things that stuck with me. I was like, walrus eye. <laughs> PE teachers had a little more latitude. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, nobody held them to the same standards. Yeah. <laughs> Quit staring at me with your weird walrus eye. And you know, Gibson's like, I didn't even know I was. So yeah, right. that's like, a, yeah, exactly. He doesn't know. Mm-hmm. I had a guy that sat in front of me in one of my classes, not very nice guy, and he had a a lazy eye. And when he would turn, you know, it was very difficult because he was thought he was looking right at me, but he was really looking past me. Mm-hmm. So it was, you know, a, a weird kind of thing. Well, that's different. That's in that. Well, no, he was not. You mean like cross eyed? Yeah, cross eyed. Yeah. He was not cross eyed. He had a lazy eye, but he would look at me only with the good eye. Sometimes they, they, because they don't move, they don't but, move at the same. That's right. That's together right. in concert. Yeah, but he, you know, he had a surgery and it fixed it. I oh, mean, good. No, it wasn't nearly as pronounced. Right, they can be corrected. Yeah. And so it was. He still had it. But hey, what a great guy too. He won like all sorts of awards. He was his name is Mark, and he won. Very very intelligent guy. Uh, very intelligent. And I remember I was so jealous of him when he would win the awards mm-hmm. at the end of the year. You know. He'd go up on the stage and be like, "Oh yeah, okay." They gave it to him, right? But he awards, deserved. yeah, like, uh, you know, he got. I think he, I don't think he won Mr. Blue Comet, but he was close. <laughs> Mr. A, Blue Mr. Blue Comet, Comet. yeah, we had Mr. Mr. Blue, Blue Comet. Comet. Well, we were the Blue, Blue Comets. Comet. Well, I know that we were the Blue Comets, and but how did you compete for that title? Swimsuit, yeah, you had to <laughs> speed up. Talent. That's the only thing that makes sense. <laughs> and who wanted to be Ms. Blue Comet? We had a Mr. Was Blue there a Miss Blue Comet? Yes, yeah, Miss Blue Comet and Mr. Blue Comet. And I, you know, that was one of those awards that it was just very, very popular guys and good looking guys. But did you know. vote as a student body or did mm-hmm. the school select? Mm-hmm. Uh, we voted as a student body. And I thought on every one of these awards days, every award that was open, I thought, this is my shot. This is my one. I really got this a chance one. at this one. Yeah. And yet all the parents were there for all their kids who had won. And my parents were never there. <laughs> Well, and I thought they're going to surprise me and not oh, be here, yeah. so they didn't want to tip their hand right, 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 that right, I right. had won something. And even and Mr. Blue Comet was the last one announced. Mm-hmm. And when they would announce it, I just like, come on, come on. And that's the biggest one. And- Mike Walrus I Johnson <laughs> <laughs> or Mark, 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 <laughs> Mark got it. But he didn't win Mr. Blue Comet. Ben Bell won Mr. Blue ah. Comet. Mm-hmm. And do you know Ben Bell? Does he keep, still put that on his resume, Mr. Blue Comet? I wouldn't doubt it. Probably lower on it, but it's on there. He won, and then he went on in our tenth reunion. Uh, it was they were going back to see who had won. Like, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, the most like, most likely to succeed. Most likely, yeah, yeah. Ben Bell won. Most likely to succeed, and Mr. Blue Comet. Yeah. And so later we had at the tenth reunion we were going to redo all that to say who really did succeed the most. Well, I was the host of a morning radio drive time program <laughs> at the time. Bottom. Okay, <laughs> so I thought, well, get ready to push Ben Bell out of the way. <laughs> well, Ben Bell had gone on to become a successful attorney and had like hell. He formed a group that helped all sorts of like children, and I mean, he was so philanthropic and all these things. And he couldn't be there. He had to like satellite in. And, oh my gosh! And they were like, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Were you slowly crumbling your speech in yes, your pocket? I, I, was, I stood up. <laughs> was he on the space shuttle I floating? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Blue Comets. <laughs> He was. I had to take off from building wells in Uganda. <laughs> he was an amazing guy. And I always was so jealous of him because he was good looking and really smart and won everything, including Mr. Blue Comet. Mr. Comet. And most likely to succeed. Mm. I never got any of that stuff. Now that hurt. Yeah. It really did. But I never. Go back to it. I never heard Walrus Eye from. Uh, no, I never did. We have the. Uh, 
Hey, Jacobs, and your walrus eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stop staring at me. Before we open this envelope, uh, this has been in the in the envelope for at least a year now, and Dave has put open on seven twenty two twenty one. I bet we, on seven twenty two twenty. We Almost can, certain of it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I was ready to read this. It said twenty three things fast food restaurants won't bring back after the pandemic, and now we're going to open it and see. Because Chris Tim said, "Hold that thought and let's see if these things come true." Yeah, and you had an interesting thought, Kelly, earlier this morning. You thought. Mm-hmm. We our, our thought process was in a year's time things will be quote normal back to normal. But really, so let's open it up and we're see. On the edge, and I think we're going to open it. But I'll tell you, I think there are some things going to be in here like incomplete. Yeah, wait to be seen. Did you see? This is fast food related. Uh, after they won the championship, Giannis went through a a, a drive through at Chick fil A and ordered fifty chicken nuggets because he had scored fifty points in Game Six of the series. This guy is so likable. This is him. People, a ton of people sent this to me and said, look, at you and Giannis have something in common. This is a free promo right here, but it is what it is. Chick-a-lee, chick-a-lee. <laughs> Can I have, please, a 50-piece Mac Minis? 50, exactly. Okay. Not 51, not 49. <laughs> chicken Minis, yes. And um, let me have a large drink, no ice. Half Sprite, half lemonade. Now, if I, I'll tell you this. If I was Chick-fil-A. I bet your son starts ordering that. Absolutely right. If I was Chick Fil A in Wisconsin, I'd have the Giannis special at like half price, fifty nuggets and four half Sprite, half lemonades. Yeah. Who's doing that? Sprite and lemonade. I know. Is that a thing? Of, never heard of it. Never heard of that. I bet your son starts to drink it. Wouldn't doubt it. And with Giannis doing that, as popular as he is, and he's I just love Giannis. Yeah. So easy to root for. What a great story. Really is likable. I love. Oh it. yeah. I just love. He's it. incredible. And played so well. Do they? Because many people were asking me because I think Kelly, in about a week's time, you'll be preparing for your next semi pro. Pickleball tournament. Yes. Could you fill up your trophy, theoretically, Mm -hmm. with nuggets? Yes. Yes. Take that to the drive thru and just say, fill it up. I I should do that. If we win at Bull City, I'm going to get some nuggets on the way home. And a half Sprite, half lemonade. That was so cool. And record it. Yeah. It'll go viral. Just like Giannis. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, if I was in Wisconsin at a Chick fil A, I would have that. And, like, you know, at a good price for that kind of. And 50 nuggets feed a family of six. Will they give you 50 just like that? For Giannis, I guess they would. Yeah, you can buy. We well, said chicken minis. Yeah, they're they're not. Yeah, they're. I believe they do. I think. I they, mean, usually they have them as eights, tens, yeah. twenty fours, twenty. You can do twenty. You know, uh, nuggets. Now, not minis, but nuggets. You can buy trays because I have for the Super Bowl. It's like a hundred, one hundred fifty, or two hundred. Right. And I get a two hundred pack. And the minis come what four? Yeah, in a one pack. A pack. You can do a pack of twenty though, because uh, wow. my family has bought them and split them on a road trip. You get twenty, and everybody gets five mm-hmm. of those chicken minis. Let's see what fast food restaurants won't be bringing back, Dave. <gasps> Here should be we music go. Or drum roll. Here we go. Here we go. Opening they haven't the envelope. You haven't opened an envelope in a long time. That's right. That's no. Right. I That's have what re- makes it special. That's right. <laughs> 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 oh, God. COVID spores. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were, you were in the heat of COVID, Kelly. Yeah, heat of COVID. When you did this. It says on the top. Oh, it, it, it was. I've got it labeled at the top. This was... Uh, the prep from July 22nd of 2020. That's Perfect. right there at the top. Yep. On a Wednesday, and now it's Thursday. And it says open 7 21. Here we go. And uh, it says, with so many menu changes, some beloved fan favorites have been pushed into early retirement due to the pandemic. Most notably, customers will never be able to get KFC potato wedges, Subway's rotisserie chicken, or roast beef subs, or McDonald's salads again. These are things that will not be coming back to fast food restaurants. Mm. Okay, now here's the list. Table arrangements at guest discretion. You'll have to go where they tell you. True. You think that's true? They'll never bring that back? Well, you I don't think you can move. I mean, push, two tables pushing together. tables together? Not right now. They still, most, I think, have them apart, right? Golly, but eventually you'd think. Some do, but I don't. I, I've I, been to restaurants where they will push tables together. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. For like, you know, for six people. Even now. you In do. the past two months. Mm-hmm. Uh, reusable menus will, will go away. They'll be paper forever or on your phone. I've gotten reusable ones. Oh, have you? I've gotten ones from the, yeah. that are in the plastic. Just regular Like regular like menus. You would have, I yeah. can't tell because some of the places we go, they're paper. They I paper. don't know if they're recycled. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or recycled each night. Salad bars go away forever. Um, They've come back. I hear now. whispers they're coming back. I think so. Yeah. I mean, the, the Costco has your samples back. Is not, it, yeah. not in the same form, but they will give them. I mean, Isn't Golden yeah. Corral all salad the bar salad? and serve yourself kind of salad bar set up? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been to it. 
<laughs> well, I mean, I think that's their thing. And then, I mean, then, so I'm sure they're open. <laughs> they are. Biggie, you can speak to them. I don't know. I just know I love their salad bar. I do. I'd it's get good. a salad. Well, of course, well, well uh, the salad you I make. past the salad bar. No, no, I'd get a salad. fountain. <laughs> Ease now. I'd get a salad. Sure, it was mostly ranch, cheese, and ham, and gravy, ham, and gravy. cheese. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> with a bed of lettuce. <laughs> Who put this lettuce on it? <laughs> Just line the bottom of your bowl with yeah. lettuce. Yeah. But I'd like to have a salad before I'd have the heavy meal. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yes. Before yeah. the carving exactly. stations. <laughs> Thank you. That's right. These are things that will never come back to fast food restaurants. We put it in an envelope a year ago. Now we've opened it. Uh, unwrapped straws. Will they ever like you know you the straw dispenser oh. where you just push it and it comes out. <sighs> I haven't seen any of those, but no, they're wrapped still. And I've only been inside. Wrapped. But see, I've only been inside one fast food dining room, and that was at Chicken and Pickles a week ago. Yeah, at the, uh, the there's a smoothie place that Beth likes, and they have like just a box where you grab your own straw. Yeah. But they're they're, but wrapped. they're wrapped. They're wrapped. Correct. The convenience stores. They got your. They've they're they've really if they change they've mm-hmm. changed back quick because I was in when I went up to see my dad. I went in, got a Coke, got a straw. But the straws are wrapped. The straws are wrapped. Okay. But well, everything else is... So it's not the dispenser where one comes out that's yeah, already they unwrapped. Never, they never really had that there. But McDonald's used to. I mean, that's the way you got your straw. I don't know about McDonald's. I haven't been inside one in a while. I don't know. I know when I went into Wendy's mm-hmm. several weeks ago, they didn't have anything out. Right. No salt, pepper, well, no, no... You can't get your own drinks. I was surprised. Napkins. I was surprised Chicken and Pickles had it all out there. The only dining room I've been into, and it had napkins and... Pre-wrapped forks and sauces and stuff like that out there. Yeah. Gotta catch it. Okay. Uh, pre-cut lemons and limes. Now I'd have to look to you, Dave. You're a uh, you've been into a bar, I guess. Yeah, they got them at the bar. Yeah, I think they're behind the bar. Yes, mm-hmm. they're pre-cut and 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 they're still yeah. using those. Oh, yeah, because yeah, was... like if you order water with lemon, mm-hmm. I think since someone's already pre-cut that. Oh, lemon. absolutely. Yeah. Now here's the one. See, I, this is exactly the one I thought would be on here. I think it's too early to tell. Self-serve soda fountains. Not back yet, but I. Not at least that I know of. The convenience stores, convenience stores do. Yeah. yeah. So I thought, you know, some of these that maybe we are coming and back. I remember that, that the, the $12 salad place, they've got iced tea yes. in dispensers. You're right. And my wife saw a guy two weeks ago go through and t- taste every one. Fact. And I think uh, your hamburger joint um, with the potato bags, they have the... Um, Five guys. Yeah, they have the, mm-hmm. the what's the machine that's yeah. a Coke machine that yeah. you can mix every yeah. thousand different right, right, drinks. Right. That's right. They have that out there. Yeah, you're right. Uh... But you know what they don't do anymore? They don't put the peanuts out for you. They used to have barrels of peanuts where you can get, while you wait, you could eat peanuts. Yeah. You just have to gnaw on the potatoes. Correct. <laughs> on the potato sack. It's weird. <laughs> it's not as good in my mind, raw potato. <laughs> you got to bring in your own microwave. But the thing was, you know, we'd always put saliva all over our fingers and put our, uh, you know, when you're going back in sure. for more for more peanuts. <laughs> yeah. I was like uh, the Irish potato famine of the 1850s. Mm-hmm, that's right. What do they do with those? The extras that were left after you'd been in there. The peanuts? It, I mean, you'd like to think they threw them threw away. Threw them away, I guess. I I, they didn't. Yeah. Uh, condiments on the table. Ketchup, salt, pepper. That's back, isn't it? Yep. That's so t- you know, when this was written, it was also, COVID was all about, you know, your hands and things you touch. Now we've really learned it's way more through the air. The salt, mm. peppers, and sauces are there. I think they're there, yeah. Napkin dispensers on the table. Yeah. They're there. Can't can't speak to that. I think so. I, I think they're there. My napkins are cloth. <laughs> <laughs> now, At the places where we've been. Yeah. <laughs> now this hasn't come back. Play areas. I've been into the chicken and pickles and they're it's blocked off. Yeah, those were kind of going out anyway, weren't they? Well, now chicken and pickles had uh it was hopping. Uh and it was uh, indoors. Now a lot of the outdoor ones went away. I mean, because, moms take their kids there. But moms do. And now I they may not reopen. I put on the rebuilt on those chicken and pickles. The the new ones. Do they have? They don't have yeah, any don't play know. areas. That, do they? That's a good question. I haven't been inside one. I would think those have to be taken away just to make that building smaller. But they used to have a nice uh, play area that was indoors, and moms yeah. would go. And my, uh, I used to meet. I went in them. Me too. Why'd you go? In what? Them? <laughs> I just like the smell of poop and feet. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it, that, it was good. The kids love to play in there, but kids can't get vaccinated, so uh, you know they're in there. You gotta shut them down. All sorts of germs. Uh, open food sitting on a tray. You still, they still do that, don't they? Open food sitting on a tray. I like, mean, like a plate. Well, I'll tell you this. Or do they mean like bringing it across the well yeah. from the kitchen to your table? When I ate fast food a week ago, they brought me the food. I had, I sat at the booth and they brought the food, and it was not on a tray. It was in bags. It was like it was to go, even though it wasn't. So you know, mm. it was in a bag, which is kind of weird to me. So maybe the trays are going away. Yeah, maybe so. I'm um, not trying to understand. I mean, the waiters and waitresses are bringing. 
Yeah. The servers are bringing the food it, out he, on he a tray. He brought it to, to me on a tray, but it was in bags. And then I picked it off. Mm. I picked my bag off the tray. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It, was, it was over here. It's me. It's the diesel we're eating. There were two separate bags. And he said, you know, Cobb salad. And I picked <laughs> mine up. And then he said to the diesel, you know, my nuggets. And he picked his up. And that's how it was. <laughs> so, you know, maybe it'll come back. Uh, paying with cash. You can. You can pay with cash mm-hmm. now. It's, it's happening. Syrup bottles at the IHOP, for instance. Can't speak to that. I haven't been to. No, don't know it either. But these are things they say may not ever come back. How about this for Chris Jim? Preset tables with the uh, silverware and everything already out I've there. I've seen it. You've seen it coming back? Yep. It seems to me we're, about, we're these things are not as accurate as I thought they would be. Mm-hmm. You know, it seems like all these things are pretty close to being back don't you think yeah and you mentioned at the beginning kelly right there at the top mm-hmm. subway roast beef will be you can tell you it's back it's back yeah. they brought it back they brought well i think there was a demand there was there was demand. they're having yeah. to redo all their subs mm-hmm. i mean they're doing a whole new mm-hmm. the everything. relaunch yeah have you been in there since the redo no i have not but you were happy to get that roast beef back absolutely because their club would you get it without roast beef what's the point yeah they're calling it like the american club or something mm-hmm. but we know it's the club <laughs> come on yeah <laughs> American Club. Don't give me that. I saw a great life hack on TikTok today. Woo, what'd you learn? Well, it's a good one. I'll tell you, I'm going to do this. I can't even really describe it. But uh, when the family goes to the beach, I'm the sandwich maker. Mm. And it's not easy because uh, everybody, you know, it's that's a tough one. But I do the sandwich and I put them in a little baggie and all those things, you know. That's nice of you to do that. Maybe you are Mr. Blue Comet after all. <laughs> I tell you, I don't know how you got stepped over. Why don't over. you submit that? <laughs> Decades ago. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Take that. Do you think Ben Bell's making sandwiches like that? No. See, she wants mayo and he, he wants mustard. That's the problem. That's, that's, the, that's the only problem with this hack. Here's what they're doing. This woman, and it's so neat to watch. You take 12 of those Hawaiian rolls, King's Hawaiian, mm. and she sliced them in half while they were together. They're all like hooked together. And she sliced them in half. And on the bottom, she put mayonnaise and spread it all around. Mm -hmm. And then she put uh, ham on all the whole thing. And then she put mustard on top of the ham and then cheese on top of that. And then she cut them apart to 12 different sandwiches. And they stayed in the little uh, cardboard contraption the entire time. So she had 12 sandwiches without having to. What kind of knife did she use? She had a very sharp knife to cut it in half. It was like a steak knife. How do you you cut the individual they were 12. well they're really separated anyway you know you can tell mm. where the indention is just go peel one off yeah so she peeled them off and then they, they oh. stayed in the little cardboard tray and then she put them right back in the king's hawaiian bag and she said it takes a fraction of the time and you've got 12 sandwiches instead of four and all the kids love them but so she's not just wallpapering the bottom half with ham the ham is already sliced to fit that piece mm, of bread. No, she wallpapers it, and then she cuts then through she the cuts ham. Through but she cuts That's got to be a special knife to go through all that ham. It was a sharp knife. I mean, it, it, but it was just one layer of ham. It's like cutting it's a, a meat. Yeah, it's cutting like a sandwich in, on the diagonal. But when she did it, she said, now here's the trick. Your kids all have to eat the same sandwich. It's that's not like the thing. And that's the problem. You know, that's the problem. Now you got 12 little sliders there. Yeah, and you did. And she did have 12 little sliders, and parents were just jumping all over this TikTok, and so was I. I don't know how you like something on TikTok, but in my home, I was going, I like it, I like it, I like it. I like it, I think it's so neat, you know?